Hey, Arctic family and friends, a little mashup video for you guys this week. A uh, couple topics to touch on in this video. Uh, freight volumes, Big Ten football, and fishing. <laughs> Wanted to just give a couple updates this week. A uh, couple things we've talked about before. One new uh, subject and a question for you. Uh, curious to know what your hobbies are when you are outside of the truck, when you are not uh, actively running and you've got some time. I know many drivers, uh, when they are OTR and they do come off the road, oftentimes they have a, a long honeydew list, a chore list that's at the house waiting on them to come home. And so oftentimes uh, a couple days are uh, eaten up of that home time by taking care of property if they own a piece of land, cutting the grass, uh, brush hogging a field, uh, depends upon where they are and uh, what kind of, of land uh, or dwelling they have. But curious, if you guys would let us know. Uh, I'm going to share one of my hobbies a little bit later in the video. Curious to know what your hobbies are when you have time out of the truck. What do you like to spend your time doing? So leave us a comment and, uh, and let us know. I wanted to talk just real quick about freight. Not freight volumes. I want to talk about a different way of looking at how freight is doing. And that would be something... Uh, called tender rejections. So when a company, uh, for instance, Arctic, we have customers that we work with. We have agreed to haul a certain number of loads in a particular lane. And on occasion, we're offered more than, uh, than that agreed upon volume. Now, if we have uh, available trucks, and we don't have other loads from other customers that we need to move, then we will you know, be able to take those additional loads. But a, uh, a tender rejection index looks at the amount of load tenders across the country that are being rejected on a daily basis. Why is that important? Uh, that's a good indicator for us as to how the overall condition of uh, the trucking industry is going, right? Are we going up? Are we going down? Um, is capacity becoming tightened or is there extra capacity? When there's a lot of trucks sitting around waiting on freight, nobody's rejecting load tenders. That, that load tender rejection index goes way down because companies are, are eager to take the freight that is offered. When capacity is tightened, when there's a lot of freight out there available, then that rejection index goes way up. And so that's something that we pay attention to uh, both on a national level, but then also just inside Arctic, are we rejecting more loads right now than we were last year, last month, last week um, and that's something that right now is increasing a little bit for us which means uh, we're seeing progress in the economy we're seeing progress in the refrigerated freight uh, division of trucking uh, there is more freight out there that needs moved by reefer trailers and presumably uh, there are fewer trucks that are just sitting around waiting on freight. And so uh, maybe more freight is being offered to us by a particular customer because another, cust uh, another shipper can't move it, or um, they're just shipping more than they were a week ago, a month ago, two months ago, six months ago. And that's a great sign. That's a great sign that as we are continuing through uh, 2020, the weirdest year of my entire life, uh, the coronavirus saga, um, that's something that tells us that things are picking up a little bit. And so that's great news. Second topic I wanted to touch on is Big Ten football. 
uh, college football in general. We are supposed to be uh, starting Big Ten football this weekend, and I'll just tell you guys, I am blown away that the Big Ten has continued to uh, stand firm that they are not going to have a fall season, while all these other uh, universities and, and conferences are moving forward. So I think it's a huge missed opportunity by the Big Ten. I think they're, they're scared uh, legally of a class action lawsuit in the future if, uh, if athletes had some sort of permanent damage from contracting COVID and maybe uh, there's heart damage or lung damage that would be uh, lifelong. I think the Big Ten is just covering their butt. That's my personal opinion. Um, I'm nobody in their world, but uh, I'm blown away. I really expected other conferences to fall in line and end up canceling. There's still time. We still don't know if they're going to make it through the whole season. Uh, it's pretty interesting that most other conferences are pressing forward uh, and they're moving forward with, uh, with college football in the fall. So I'm going to miss uh, getting to see the Buckeyes play this fall. I don't think the spring season thing is going to happen. Even if it does, it's, it's, I don't see what the point of it is, especially if you have other conferences that play this fall. And then lastly, hobbies. Let's talk about hobbies. You asked the question at the beginning of the video, what do you guys do when you're outside of the truck? And I don't know if anybody has ever noticed uh, some, of the, some of the videos I film uh, in the office and some I film here in my car. And right here... Let's see if I can grab it. It's my fishing pole. Um, if you go back and you look at other videos, uh, you can tell whether it's fishing season or not. Because if it's fishing season, this is laying here. Uh, it probably blends in and you may not see it, but it's here. It's been here since uh, probably May. It's the end of August. And so personally, uh, that's something that I enjoy. On the weekends, I like to uh, I like to creek fish. That's a uh, it's an ultralight uh, setup, and enjoy uh, fishing for bass and panfish, uh, especially smallmouth bass. And we've got some good creeks and rivers here in Central Ohio uh, that give me a good opportunity to go uh, take a couple hours, probably one day on the weekend, and just kind of unplug mentally and refresh a little bit, get out in creation. Uh, I really enjoy being alone in nature and uh, dealing with the frustration of trying to catch fish, uh, which sometimes works out well and sometimes doesn't work out well. So curious, what do you guys do uh, when you are not at work? Uh, how do you enjoy spending your time? Uh, leave a comment below and uh, let us know. Very curious to see what those answers are. Thanks guys.